Hello everybody, this is Mr. The Man in the House, and in this video I want to talk about a new game from the App Store that I just found out about. It's called RC Mini Racers. It's basically like a sandbox racing game, and the cars are actually just RC, like RC cars. Um, it's a very fun game. I didn't expect it to be that fun, to be completely honest. Um, in the game, there are four different types of modes. The one you're seeing right here is just a circuit race. Nothing special. It's the just normal racing, but when I was playing it, it kind of reminded me of a Toy Story kind of feel because it's very, very, very cartoonish. You can also fire missiles like you just saw. You can also uh, place down mines. The AI in this game is actually pretty cool because instead of just trying to get to the finish line, which of course they are trying to too, but um, they also try to attack you in the funniest way ever because um, the AI attacks themselves with missiles, they bounce off the walls, and they have to uh, do their laps again, right? But sometimes they start chasing each other, and when you're driving uh, to the finish line, they'll hit you just dead on. It's so frustrating because you have to do that entire lap again just to get to the checkpoint. So yeah, I really enjoy this RC Mini Racers circuit race, but I wish there were more things you could do just just besides firing missiles and mines, you know? There's also a turbo, which you just saw, but I mean, I didn't really... It gives you a little bit of speed, but it doesn't give you a lot. So while I'm finishing up this lap, we're going to head over to the customization part of this, which is very cool in two ways. Let me just get there first. So I want to go to Sprint Racing. I clicked on Beat Me, but then I wanted to check out the Pimp Shop, <laughs> which I didn't expect it to be anything like I thought it would. Basically what you do is you can customize your wheels, the color of your car, and the, in the antenna color. But um. Once I'm done customizing the car, I click uh, buy, but instead of purchasing with the money you make from the races and stuff, you purchase with coins, like any other game you expect it. The only difference is, in this game, it's very easy to get the coins without money. Because there is a race called Coin Race. Basically, when you join the race, you can just do whatever you want. You jump around, you, uh, the longer you jump in this game, the more money they give you. Once you get to 100,000 money, or just dollars, I guess, the normal currency in this game, they'll give you 15 coins. Right now, I have about 150,000, so not that bad, and I've only been playing for 14 minutes. So it's very easy, um, and it's cool because there's not much you can get with coins besides customizing your car, if that's what you really like. Okay, so basically what I just did, I just lost the speed race, but then this one I'm going to win. Uh, basically what you do is you just try to ham it to the finish point before anybody else. The finish point is actually just in one lap, so it's not that hard. Uh, you can fire missiles, which I just did, and hit like five people. Or you could just try to avoid everybody, which is impossible, because they're all going to try to ram you. Uh, and yeah, but it's not that hard. I got second place, and I got a lot of cash from it, as you can see. So it's very easy to get the coins if you just want to get the coins for customization of your cars. So this is a coin race. Uh, and this is what I was talking about where you could just, it's a sandbox game, so you just jump around. The longer you stay in the air, the more gold they give you. I said gold, I mean money. But, um, yeah. And there will be coins that spawn randomly in the race that you can go collect and it'll be worth one coin. So, I mean, it's not that bad if you're really, really into coins. I do have to say, it's actually harder to get money in this way because it you don't have people running into you or shooting missiles at you, so you don't jump around as much, you have to force yourself to jump around. 
But uh, if that's your kind of thing, this is the race for you, and you get a lot from it. Okay, so another feature of RC Mini Racers is the steering um, race. And you would think, what's a steering race? Well, basically, it puts you in the coin race, where you could still collect coins if you want. But it puts this menu in front of you. You can best basically customize your steering force so that when you turn, don't turn as much, or you turn a lot. And uh, basically what you're going to see here is I left it at a point where it's pretty even. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you liked it. Please favorite, and I'll see you next time.